Uh, hello guys, uh, today we're going to show you uh, how to do the uh, Bellhop uh, 4000 um, port forwarding. Uh, so the Bellhop 4000 is a new um, router Bell start giving out right now. So uh, if you have a newer internet connection, they are getting you a Bellhop 4000. And uh, there's not much of a help file available to do any port forwarding. So um, I just figured it out and i just thinking, you know, you guys might be interested to learn. Um, anyways, the um, first of all, um, you know, you know your IP address, um, connect to your uh, Bellhub 4000 uh, that with the password you know. Uh, once you have the password in, um, you're going to be clicking on the advanced tools and settings. So once you click on the advanced tools and settings, uh, you go to port forwarding. Actually, once you click on that advanced tools, it will ask you for a password, enter your password. Uh, once you have a password in, uh, you get to this window. Uh, once you are in this window, uh, click on the port forwarding. And I already opened a bunch of ports, uh, but just, uh, just going to show you guys uh, how to do uh, one of them. So let's say uh, for camera, if you have a, a security cameras, you, you need a 4010 and 4011. So I want to show you how to open a 4010. Um, so there's a, once you click on the, um, all right, so the way you do it, uh, click on the uh, create a new rule. Once you click on the new rule, you have a window like this pop up. Uh, just um, under that name, uh, you could put any name, but in my case, I put a 4010, the port number. Then um, here on, under the protocol, you're going to select both. Then internal port again, 4010. If that's what you want to open it, then external port, same thing, 4010. Then you're going to select uh, your computer where you are connecting your camera and all that stuff. So if you know the IP address, you can select the IP address. If you know the computer or server name, select the computer or server name. Uh, then uh, click on create. So once you uh, click on create, I'm gonna do this. You will have uh, something like this. So you have a port name, uh, protocol, uh, port num port number again. And then the whatever the server you are selecting. Um, if you don't know the server name, if you know the IP address, put the IP address in. Then save it. Once you save it, it will go through a process then um, it will save. Uh, once it gets saved, you just double check by going to um, canyouseeme.org. Uh, you can see that on the uh, top of the browser there. Um, you put the port number. So let's say 4010 in this case. Click on check port. And it will come back and it will say uh, succeed. So uh, once you get this, and um, that means you already open your port. So you can do the same thing for 411 and 80, whichever the port you are open. So you just follow the same procedure. Thank you for watching. Take care.